first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's 42 years old and stands 194 centimeters tall and weighed in at 140 kilos. His professional record, 16 wins and 9 losses, representing Hungary, this is Zoltan and Yeti. In his opponent, standing across the ring and fighting out of the red corner. He's 44 years old and stands 182 centimeters tall and weighed in at a whopping 165 kilos. His professional record, five wins and two losses with four wins by way of knockout. The former judo world champion and the living legend of Romanian MMA, ladies and gentlemen, Alexandru Sando Lu. Your referee, Adrian Buda. Well, here we go with the big guys, and uh, I think this is going to be a huge, huge fight. A little bit uh, shorter is the Romanian with the beard and uh, the red gloves. Judge, time, first round, fight! Well, here we go, the big guys. Alexander, I've heard that they had to reinforce the ring here just to deal with the body mass of both individuals here in this super heavyweight contest, and let that me, is no joke. Let me tell you something, Sandalungu lost a lot of weight for this fight. Looking for... And Yeti already covering up here. Lungu. Lungu are loading oh, with some punches, oh, and uh, his opponent fight. trying to, uh, to clinch a little bit. Well, Lungu, we have not seen him in kickboxing action in, yeah, in quite actually, some time. Yes. He fought Mighty Mo in the past and uh, a lot of other great fighters, but he is well known in Romania for being the first Romanian who ever fought uh, Stop. Stop. in Pride. No clean, second time. Stop. It was in the Fight. in the glory days of Pride. Yeah, these fans love Alexander Lungo. He lives in Arada, which is very close to to Arad, but he's such a nice guy, a, a big guy, but su such a nice guy. Inside the ring, though, he can really do some serious damage now. And now his opponent, Zoltan Anyeti, starting to find that out firsthand. And Yeti being very cautious in this bout. Look at how wide his eyes are. Looks like he's just seen a ghost. Lungu now. Trying to cut down the ring. Slowly coming in on his opponent now. Lungu tries to unload with the right hand, but he was out of range. Fast turning. Fight. Lungu has stopped four out of the five opponents that he was victorious against by knockout. And yet he still trying to keep that distance. Well, it connected. it connected. He ate a left that time from Lungu, Fight. and he felt it. It doesn't look much, but uh, at this weight and it, at this strength, it's a huge, huge punch. It's like swinging a baseball bat. Longo again, looking for, for his moment, and Inyadi trying to, Wait, to stay stop, away. Stop! Yeah, as the Hungarian uh, fell to the power. I really love the fact that, uh, that these guys are fighting at this age. He still has the desire, still has the drive, and, and still a very dangerous and individual. And they have nothing to prove. No. They fight. are fighting for the love of the fight. Yep. And this is, this is amazing. Absolutely. That one backed him up. Longo unloads with a left now and another one. And down he goes. Like a redwood tree falling in the forest. Zoltan and Yeti with a long way to go down fight. to the canvas. He does, does he have a mouth guard in? Fight. I don't know, but the punches were fight. huge. I think he has a mouth guard. Three, well, we're inside 10 four, seconds here. Five, and referee laying six, the count on him. Seven. Yes, he eight. has the mouth guard, but All he right. doesn't have his, uh, his teeth. Stop. Yeah. Well, he made it out of round one, which surprised me, because it's not very often that anybody sees a round two with Lungu. Yes, and I, I really miss the moments when Lungu was fighting in MMA. Yeah, that is his, uh, his bread and butter. Yeah, I've, I've called his fights before in MMA. He does, uh, tends to just smother his opponents, lay on top of them and just 
cut off their air supply any way possible. You can't deal with the weight of this guy. Yes, but, you know, he was the youngest uh, uh, world champion in judo. Right. And he also was, uh, in that time, he was. Uh, he had to decide he wanted to, if he wanted to go to, to judo or to uh, freestyle wrestling. And he decided, let's go to judo. And it worked fine for him, but he, uh, he was very good in wrestling also. And he was, of course, he was smaller than, uh, uh, than right now, but uh, he's so athletic, even though, even though he doesn't look like that. Lungu in his third fight in his career here in Arad. One was under kickboxing rules in 2012, which was a win. And one was in MMA, which was also a win by submission. So these, this crowd knows him. They've seen him fight here before. Whoa! Hey, he Whoa. just popped him! Lungu just popped him! And he just dropped! Did Sultan on Yeti like a bad habit! Did you see that? What a huge, huge punch! Come on! Come on, this is crazy! Huge punch for Sandalungu. Well, we have the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by knockout in the second round, fighting out of the red corner, Alexandru Sandu!